How big does my list need to be before I get started with email marketing? That's what we're going to cover this time. Welcome to the Everything Email Podcast with Ken Countess. Ken is a world-renowned email marketing expert. He'll help you 10x your business with email strategies that generate more sales. And now, here's Ken Countess. Welcome to episode 76 of the Everything Email Podcast. I'm Ken Countess. So glad you're here. And if you're here for the first time, welcome. And if you've been back a few times and you're back for more, love to have you back too. We've now got over 5,000 downloads. People in over 50 countries and over 500 cities are listening to the Everything Email Podcast. Again, I'm glad you're here. And don't forget to share the podcast with people you know. All right, this week I'm going to talk about email lists. One of the most common questions I get is, do I need a big list? Well, here's the answer. Here's the truth. Small business owners often wonder if they should have an email list. And of course, the answer is yes. That's the best way you have to market your business. But the common misconception is that you need a massive email list to make email marketing work. But the truth is, the size of your email list doesn't matter as much as the quality of your subscribers. I'm going to tell you why having a small email list can actually be beneficial for your business. Here are a few reasons. Number one, personalization. A smaller email list allows you to better personalize your message. You can address each subscriber by their first name. You just grab it out of the database of the list of names you uploaded if you did that. And if you didn't, that's okay too. You can address each subscriber by their first name and mention their past purchase or an inquiry and send tailored offers. Personalization usually leads to higher open rates and higher engagement rates, and they help you. And by the way, that can lead to more sales as well. Imagine receiving an email that feels like it was crafted just for you, as opposed to a general message that tries to appeal to everyone. So, here's another reason. Better engagement. A large email list may look impressive, but it doesn't necessarily mean that your subscribers are really engaged. In fact, if you have a large audience and you're not seeing open rates or click-through rates that are high, it could actually hurt your deliverability and lead to your emails going to spam. A smaller email list with engaged subscribers means that your audience is interested in your business and they're more likely to take action when they get your message. Next, nurturing relationships. A small email list allows you to nurture relationships with your subscribers. You can build trust and build rapport by sending valuable content and updates pretty regularly. And this can lead to repeat business and referrals. And by the way, you can also invite feedback and create a conversation. Ask them to reply to your email. You might even learn valuable insights about your audience that you wouldn't have known otherwise. Next, having a smaller list doesn't mean that you can't grow it over time. In fact, by focusing on engagement and personalization, you're more likely to retain your subscribers and then attract new ones through word of mouth. So to close, having a small email list isn't a disadvantage for your small business. Remember, it's not the size of the list that matters. It's the quality of the subscribers. That's it for this week. Hey, one more thing. Don't forget to join my inner circle. That's where you get access to me free. Once a month, we do a free call where we talk about the things that you need to know in order to get the most out of your email marketing platform. And the way you join is by going to thebestemailoffer.com. Thebestemailoffer.com. You'll find details there. Hey, thanks for listening this time around. If you're interested in working with me, go to kenisemail.com slash packages. kenisemail.com slash packages. Hey, we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to the Everything Email Podcast with Ken Countess. If you like the podcast, tell your friends and coworkers about it. Be sure to visit kenisemail.com to sign up for Ken's mailing list. You'll get great marketing tips every week in your inbox. 
have questions, send Ken an email. It's ken at kenisemail.com. See you next time.